Train Room Gary saying welcome to my YouTube channel. Train Room Gary, Detroit and Mackinac Railway, a Train Room Gary production. In this episode I'll be showing you Williams by Bachman operating freight cars. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Train Room Gary and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm behind the camera today and today I have two helpers. And what is your name? Adam. And what is your name? Noah. And Adam, how old are you? Four years old. And Noah, how old are you? Three. How old? Three. Three. Oh, he's three years old. Okay. All right. We had a box come today by the UPS man. He came in a big brown truck. And in here is our big surprise package. And what city did this come from? New York City. New York City. So it came a long ways all the way from New York. City. You guys tell what it is yet? Uh, no, we can't tell. Uh oh, here's something here. What is it? That's a, that's a Williams remote control. This is a catalog. Oh, oh they sent us a uh, MTH catalog. They sent us a Lionel catalog. Look at that Nine one, man. What's this one? Lionel. And Nine this is a. Bachman catalog. Yes, okay, so we got three catalogs. Alright, we got the boxes open, guys. What's in here, Noah? What is this? Um, caboose. Caboose, you're yeah, close. A uh, train. It's a train, but what kind of train is it? A uh, box car. That's a box car, is correct. That's a box car. This is a Williams operating freight car, operating box car. And this one here is. Uh, oh. Careful there, so you don't fall. That's an operating freight car, also. It's Yellow Pine yes. Lumberyard. Oh, yes. Take a look. Hang on to it with two hands. Uh, you got it? Uh, wow, well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yes. And later on, we'll put this stuff all together and we'll put it on the track and we'll make it work. And the way this works is this remote control here is going to make the doors on the boxcar come open. And this is going to make the uh, logs up. So it's called remote control. So we've got to build this stuff. We've got to look for some batteries for it. And then we'll come back later and show us how, we, how this all works. All right, the remote runs on a 9-volt battery. We'll put the 9-volt battery in. This just goes in the back. And typical 9-volt hookup. So let's put the battery in. All right, I got it out of the box. And this is the operating door, and over here is the four little crates that the man's going to toss out. Okay, we now have the uh, box car and uh, engine cradle. There's these switches here we have to set right by the front trucks. It's called A, B, and C, and one, two, eight. And the way you set those is with the small screwdriver. Okay, we're now on the layout, and uh, let's load the uh, crates. This little door here on the top comes open and you drop these little crates in and just slide in. It holds four crates. So we'll get those all in. Drop them all in there. Now we have all four crates in. Close up the hatch. And let's see what happens. Right now on the remote I'm going to press A1. Now comes our first little case. You see it's reloading. Let's try it again. This is A1. And that's how it works. Now this can be anywhere in the layout. It does not have to be on one of those remote special tracks. Dump it out any place. All right, well, this has been programmed for A1. Let's hit the A. And then the 1. And now comes our case. Okay, we're now over at the uh, Red Isle grocery store. Let's swing around here and look for the Santa Fe boxcar carrying our fresh produce. Let's hit the door and drop off some uh, cases to the Red Isle. Now what's cool about this, you can do it on curve track. All 
Now we're looking at the uh, bottom of the dump car. I got it set for A2 for the codes. And over here is the reset button. If the dump happens to lose power during dumping process, you push this red button to reset it. All right, we got the uh, Yellow Pine Lumber Company, and they're going to drop off some uh, telephone poles. Not bad. Now I might go back later and change the load. I can put on here uh, railroad ties, lumber, things like that. If you got any ideas, leave them down in the description. Need your help. What can I put on the Yellow Pond Lumber Company dump load that would be different than just regular old telephone poles and logs? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to get all email notifications. Thanks for watching. As always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway. Detroit, Michigan, USA. Videos to check out for my YouTube channel. Just click the icons below.